We are doing a Did You Know on the rock and roll rhythm and blues singer, Frankie Lyman. Did you know Frankie started working at the grocery store at the age of 10 to help make ends meet with his family? And I guess he felt like he was grown because he started smoking marijuana at this age too. Did you know Frankie Father singed in the gospel group? That's what helped inspire Frankie to be a singer. Gospel taught him how to put feelings and emotional depth in his singing, which played a big part on all his performances. Did you know at the age of 13, Frankie and his friends formed a group called The Teenagers? In 1956, they came out with a song called Why Do Fools Fall in Love? It became the number one hit, and to this day, it's still about. This song put them on the map. Honey, they was traveling and touring everywhere performing. The song wasn't only a number one hit, it had broke racial barriers. Frankie became the first black teen idol. This little man really paved the way and opened doors for a lot of people. After a while, he became solo. Well, it's not necessary. What, what happened uh, with the group? Did they just leave on their own? No, they wanted to go as a quartet instead of a quintet. They figured they might uh, make it better by themselves. So. I see. Well, how do you like uh, being in the entertainment world? How old are you, by the way, Frankie? 16. You're... Did you know little Frankie was hooked on heroin? It was said that he was introduced to it at the age of 12 by a woman in the neighborhood and she was in her late 20s y'all child and it was said that he was hooked ever since then after a while the addiction started to affect his career but what really put a stop to his career is when he decided that he wanted to pull this little white girl on the stage with him and start dancing on national tv and you know they didn't play that back in the day. Did you know Frankie had a baby girl at the age of 15 by his wife, Elizabeth Waters? Baby Francis unfortunately passed away at only two days old. Did you know in 1966, Frankie was drafted into the army while serving jail time for drug charges? He went AWOL after meeting a girl and fell in love and she became his third wife. Did you know in 1968, Frankie got himself together? He started back recording songs and was just feeling himself. He went back to his hometown and started reconnecting with all his old friends and his fans. By the time he's 17, nobody wanted no part of it. The man went broke completely. I picked him up on the streets of Broadway and my challenge was to make the biggest comeback of his career. He was so excited and decided to celebrate. And a part of that celebration, he decided to go back to heroin after being clean for a whole year. And unfortunately, that caused his overdose and he was found dead in his grandmother's bathroom. He was only 25 years old. He most definitely lived a fast and scary life, but he paved the way for many people. And let's give this little young man his flowers.